Hey friends, it's Miss Elizabeth here. Today I get to read to you a really awesome story. But first, let's sit down somewhere really cozy, put your listening ears on, and a big bubble in your mouth. Alrighty, are you ready? Today I want to read Paddington's prize picture. One morning, Mrs. Brown sent Paddington to the market to buy some oranges. Paddington was well known in the market. The traders always saved their best for him, and he always thanked them for it. When he was done shopping, Paddington visited his friend, Mr. Gruber. Mr. Gruber's store was filled with old things, but he always had something new to show Paddington. Mr. Gruber was very busy. He was washing a painting. On one half, Paddington saw a picture of a boat. On the other half, Paddington saw what looked like a hat. Just you wait, said Mr. Gruber. There's more to come. I've never seen a picture like this before, said Paddington. That's because one picture is hidden under the other, Mr. Gruber said. Paddington had a great idea. He hurried home as fast as his legs could carry him. Paddington looked for the picture Mr. Brown had been painting. He wondered if this one had another picture under it too. Do you think it did? Paddington began to clean. The boats in the blue sky disappeared but there was nothing underneath. The beautiful picture was now a stormy sea. Paddington decided to fix it. He found some old brushes and a box of old paints. Then Paddington set to work. He started to paint the boats in the lake. He carefully filled in the spots he had cleaned. Paddington stepped back to look at his work. There was no lake, there were no boats. He reached for the paints and began again. I think Paddington got some paint on him. At dinner that evening, Paddington was covered in orange spots. I hope you're not getting sick, said Mrs. Brown. She sent him to bed early just in case. I think it's the paint. The next morning, everyone was happy to see that Paddington's spots were gone. It was, look, it's just on his bed. I have news, said Mr. Brown. I have entered a painting contest. You all must come to the show. The art show began, the judges looked at all the paintings. Mr. Brown loved painting. He had never won a prize. This could be it, he said. The whole family was excited. I would be too. The judges announced the winner. It was Mr. Brown, but Mr. Brown looked confused. This is not my painting, said Mr. Brown. There must be some mistake. Paddington's painting on Mr. Brown's canvas won first prize. They were still confused. The judges showed Mr. Brown his name on the painting. Do you see it right there? Oh my goodness. Look at that teamwork, friends. Mr. Brown accepted his prize. I think I will donate my prize to the Home for Retired Bears in Peru, he said. Paddington beamed. My Aunt Lucy will be pleased. She likes happy endings. Don't we all, said Mrs. Bird. Oh my goodness, friends. That was such a fun story. Thank you for joining me today. I loved Paddington's adventures with painting. I hope to see you again soon. Bye, friends.